Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Williams. I'm in Rasht, which is a city on the Caspian Sea in Iran. And this is a city that's known and an area that's known for its food. It's one of the top food cities in Iran. And so today we're going to go on a food tour of Rasht. We're going to eat something called a hutka. We're going to go to the bazaar. We're going to eat street food. They have a big street food culture. And in this video, I'm going to share all of the food with you. Like 9.45 a.m. we are setting off. We're on our way from Tehran to Rasht. Good morning everyone. Good morning. How long is the drive? We are going to have some lavender tea. It is a very well-known herbal tea in Iran. I like to try the herbal teas and also black tea that is produced in the north of Iran. Thank you. Had a little doze off in the van, waking up for some lavender tea. That just smells so good. Oh, it smells... Lavender is like the relaxing... I think it's relaxing and kind of makes you sleepy again. <sighs> yeah, that's great. That's just light, very light very soothing it's it's soothing that's what it is and we made it out of Tehran we've been driving for about an hour and a half now and continuing on our way to Rasht so it's Mr. Taster Mark Wins and Miko. me <laughs> Miko no Miko it's a whole <laughs> board of Miko <laughs> okay, and so welcome to Rasht and that was an amazing drive from Tehran because we've crossed Hello. through so many different Hello. landscapes along Thank the way much. through the mountain pass and then I'm just surprised how lush how green and how wet it is here in Rasht. What's the name of the restaurant? Uh, his name is uh, Mohammed, but they call him Muhammad Sibyl, which is, means mustache. Awesome. Yeah. So Sibyl, Sibyl means mustache. Yeah. And so and that's what this place guess? is known let's, for. Let's, let's find Muhammad okay. Sibyl. <laughs> let's go we find, find him. We can find him based on his <laughs> mustache. Let's just walk inside and yeah, see if we can... Mr. Muhammad Sibyl. <laughs> Salam Haji. Salam Haji. So which one? Which one? Muhammad Sibyl? Muhammad Sibyl. Muhammad Sibyl. <laughs> <laughs> Muhammad Sibyl. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Just step into the restaurant and immediately you smell it has this like distinct herbal aroma in here uh, and the whole table is already spread full of different Wow, look at all those vegetables and all those greens Ashban Ashban, okay, this is the egg fish, yeah What's your taste for sure? A fish from the Caspian yeah. um, Salted fish roe Mm. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. nice, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> but very salty, yeah. You need to eat it with bread or something. Exactly. Is this silver orange? It is sour. Sour. Oh. What you, what you this call? is the upside down rice. Oh. This is tadig. We call it tadig. Cheers. They have, we're coming back into the kitchen now and they have just prepared this unbelievable spread of different stews and dishes and hutka hutka we've got the hutka which has been made into a walnut stew which just smells unbelievable the this different the reds the color there's it's also duck. a duck yeah gonna be sabzi. fish the gourmet sabzi and then fresh rice uh, bakal -gato, bakal -gato. which is another stew yeah with oh, broad, man, beans. broad beans it's, it's very famous in gilan and mazandaran and is that one, is that the one that's cooked with dill? You can really smell the yes. dill. Okay. We, because you can tell all, all of the flavors, all of the spices, all of the ingredients have to mingle together into like a gravy stew. They're all like slow cooking process and just herbs and the different ingredients used specifically in this region, Caspian Sea, Rasht region. It's a type of white fish, specifically from the Caspian Sea, one of the most famous fish from the Caspian Sea, so she's frying that as well for lunch. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Um, and then in the other frying pan, she's frying uh, anchovies, Caspian anchovies. I've never seen anchovies that size. Normally anchovies are like this size. These are like the size of little mackerel. Those are huge. And so then to prepare the hutka stew, that walnut stew, what she does is she takes some into a small pan and then she adds in a bunch of walnut oil and then boils that again to reheat it for to, to, to serve it. And that just smells incredible. You can smell that walnut oil just coming out, the nuttiness of that. Oh, and then the fried fish going at the same time. Such an amazing family, how they've just opened up their kitchen and their home to all of us. There's like 12 of us in the kitchen and uncle and auntie, they're just so cool, so welcoming. It just smells incredible. The fish are ready. The rice and the tadik is... Oh, so there? oh nice. <laughs> That's okay though. <laughs> Oh wow. Look at that. That is a trophy sized tadik, crunchy rice. This is the hutka babushka with uh, chia daritush, onions, and uh, pomegranate paste. Oh, they call it okay, okay. It's different so from the which walnut one, stew. Which one? Okay. So, but, that, but the walnut stew is also with hutka, also? Yeah. So That's the same have... with hutka. So there's... This one is hutka vavishka. So two. Hutka vavishka. This yeah. one is hutka. This is oh, the fesenjon. Oh, that's the yes. one. That's the one. This is the fesenjon with oh, vavishka. Man. Immediately you can smell that walnut. Yeah. yeah. But... So hutka vavishka, right? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, wow. It's so good. <laughs> it's my first time. <laughs> Wow, that meat, that hutka is so lean, yeah, but so succulent. Mm. Oh wow! I can and taste the pomegranate. The sourness, the sourness. Right? yeah, exactly. The hardness of the pomegranate. Mm. Just like pure home cooking. It's just like bone looking good, and that sour tartness of the pomegranate is what makes it. So this one is called. The hutka fezenjan. Yeah. And that's also a, that's the dish name, right? Yeah. Hutka is the bird. Yeah. Fezenjan is the Normally dish. Normally fezenjan coming with either uh, chicken or duck. And then mainly, mainly the whole paste is made from walnuts? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And, all right. Cheers. Mm. Oh, wow. It's good. <laughs> okay. So because, because this is my first time to ever try it. Yeah. Would this be more of a sour version? Or it's sour. Okay, it is sour. Yeah. Because it is, yeah, it is because, sour. I mean, in this area, and they normally cook it sour. That's the one. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Wow. <laughs> pickled garlic? Yeah, pickled garlic. Oh, wow. Take the skin off the pickled yeah. garlic. Now it's the time for the rice. For the rice? Yeah. With the garlic. The fish goes onto the rice. Yeah. All right. And now? Fish it is, but it's from the, it's a white fish from Caspian Sea, right? It's only in Caspian Sea. Only in Caspian yeah. Sea. And eat that together with a whole clove of garlic. Yeah. And some of the fish. And rice. <laughs> Ready? All right, yes. Garlic. So good. <laughs> wow. so good. The complexity of flavor. Mm. It's unbelievable. <laughs> the fish is fried perfectly, it's crunchy. And then that rice is kind of smoky too. Yeah. And with the pickers. That garlic though. The garlic. The garlic is what just elevates mm. it to, to new and exciting levels. These are the fried massive anchovies. All right, perfect. Look at the garlic, it's so juicy. Again, Again. take up some of the fish yeah. with that whole clove of the pickled garlic. Oh, I forgot it. Oh, <laughs> I forgot it. 
And this is this is a sour orange? Yeah. Now try it. Wait. Ooh. For the oh, sardines? I'm ready. Yeah. No, sorry, the anchovy. Anchovy. anchovy with, the garlic, yeah. with the garlic, with a squeeze of sour orange juice. Oh, wow. Here we go. <laughs> even, actually, the orange is it's sour but sweet at the same time. Mm. The anchovies are amazing. You can just eat all the whole bone structure because it's been fried <laughs> and marinated. It's garlicky. Mm. Oh, that's just a giant fish chip. <laughs> Along with the fish and rice, you can eat some of the turnip, the white turnip with some of the leaves as well. It's just like crispy and juicy. Yeah. I think what it, what the real benefit is, is that it, because you, you're eating deep fried fish, so you have the oil, this just like immediately cuts the grease, like completely. You can just feel like the, the oil just going down your throat. What a meal. And we haven't even tried the tahini. Tahini. Yeah. The crunchy rice. It's so crunchy. <laughs> With the stew. Yeah. Take some of the oil. Look at that. And that's even walnut Ooh. oil too, right? Yeah. Walnut oil. Exactly. With the pomegranate paste. Yeah. With the onions. Just disintegrated. <laughs> Look. The flavor of that stew. The nuttiness of it, just pureed mm. walnuts with pomegranate, sour tartness, and the, the crunchy tadik rice just makes the perfect vessel. Mm. You could just spoon that into your mouth, it's so good. So as opposed to the other stew, this one is served with the entire, the entire bird. Wow, you can see how lean it is. It's so lean of a bird. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Again, just mm -mm. here. It's so unbelievably pure. That's insane. <laughs> so good. Yeah, the different combinations are amazing. So take some of the rice and you kind of get it into your your palm. Then you take a little bit of the the fish roe. Set that into the rice. I'll go for a big walnut on top. And then the broad bean. And then a broad bean on top. And then you can just kind of like squeeze it into a... Ready? Yeah. <laughs> mm. It's good. Oh. And not only the flavor, but the different textures. Yeah. I just want to have some of this with rice, even though we tasted it already in the kitchen, but... Kutka Vavishka. Pushka Vavishka. Yeah. And Putka what? is the name of the bird, and Babushka is the name of the stew. Wow. I'm gonna try mixing with the rice. And yet you can see that like vivid green color. And when we ordered it, when we got it, they simmered it down with a bunch more um, walnut oil. Yeah. So it's walnut oil, it's onions, it's um, pomegranate paste. Yeah. Oh wow. Mm. Okay. I think this one is my absolute favorite. Yeah. <sighs> the walnut oil. You could just, and the tenderness of that, like the oily nuttiness. Insane. Mm. And if you eat the, the stalks of the leaves of that turnip, they actually have a spice like that got horseradish spice to them. Mm. Oh good. Wow. Leaning back in my chair, I'm so satisfied, so happy. The final thing that I'm having is Ariane and also mixed in with a little bit of that mint paste. And so this is like a, a yogurt beverage. It's called du. It's, it's a type of but in Farsi it is du. That is incredible. I thought I was expecting it to be more salty, but it's not salty at all. It's like natural and it's naturally like carbonated, fizzy almost. You taste the livingness of it. It's alive for sure. It's like sizzling on your tongue. You feel that carbonation with that mint in it. Mm. That's like a yogurt soda almost. <laughs>
Amazing work together, yeah. everybody. An wow. amazing meal, an honor to be here. It, it is a restaurant, but this is exactly home cooking. So the flavors are unlike anything I've ever had before in my life anywhere. And the pomegranate paste, it's just that compounds the layers, the complexity of flavors from the local ingredients is just unique and extraordinary. Mom Noon. I'm going Thank to you. Oh. <laughs> Mom Noon, Mom Noon. Oh, step outside. Oh yeah, it's still raining out here. Look at that hospitality. Amazing, amazing people. Even waving to us from the from the patio. In the rain. <laughs> yes, in the rain too. What just incredible, gracious, beautiful people. Okay, so we drove over to the center of Rasht. This is the bazaar sh central shopping area. We're gonna go to the bazaar, we're gonna try especially a sweet dessert, and then we're gonna continue on this food tour. Awesome, just entering into the bazaar now. This is where the food market starts. There's meat just everywhere sprawling. You can see dates, you can see even things like coconuts and different vegetables. Um, oh yeah olives and walnuts, essential in this region. Um, but something that, like, I'm also just, I love, hello, hello. There's dates, there's different cheeses, there's so many things in this market and we just kind of like, jumped out of the van and immediately to this market so all of a sudden we're just like in the midst of everything. I love the action, I love the energy. So many amazing products too. We got to get through this stall to this place where they make this special dessert and we're gonna quickly watch them as they make it. Look at that. Okay, so the whole base of it is a rice flour batter, and actually Rasht, this whole area is a wetland. It's known throughout Iran for producing the best rice, and so this is a rice batter. He's now kind of like working that batter, but look at that, there it goes, to get that perfect texture. That is such an incredible art because he just, like, it's essential that the batter is the perfect consistency, the perfect liquidy, liquidity, um, because he has to, like, play with it, make sure it funnels through that sift so evenly, so perfectly, and then he has so much skill, and my favorite part is when he wraps it up, <laughs> tosses it, <laughs> yes, <laughs> that toss, <laughs> that is skill, oh, <laughs> I kind of want one of those to land on my head though. <laughs> So it's really three complete different stations, three different parts of this snack. First is the batter and when he makes that amazing net pancake and then folds it with his hand and my favorite part where he gives it the toss to the other table. Station number two is where he fills it with walnut, ground walnut and sugar. And then station number three it goes to a hot griddle with a little bit of oil on it. And then kind of that gives it the final caramelized like cooking edge to it. Maybe not oil, maybe it's syrup. At first I only thought there were three steps, but there's actually a fourth step. Yeah. The fourth step is after it's finished frying, then he opens up like a bowl, a tin of rose water yeah. and sugar. 
and then just like dunks it in there, hydrates it in there. That gives it the sweetness, that gives it the, you can smell that rose too. Yeah. And then sprinkles on cinnamon. So we got <laughs> fresh plates of it now. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> you ready? And so, yes, okay. You can feel how it's still crispy. It is crispy, yeah. But... <laughs> mm. Wow. I love it. Okay. And that nod. Thank you very much. Yeah, very good. Mm. Oh, man. You really taste that rose fragrance. Mm. And then, you can see this walnut. Mm. Mm. It, it just kind of like melts. Yeah. I understand. The that walnut sugar in the center is just like melting. Oh yeah. Mm. The cinnamon, the yeah. crunchy rice. Exactly. It's amazing to eat, but it's so cool also to watch the whole process of it being made. Mm. It's like a walnut cake, like a, a freshly made walnut cake. Mm. Oh yeah, that is like oily and floral and fragrant and syrupy and mm. it really is good. And I do especially like it because of the nuts, because of the walnuts in there, but it is very sweet. Thank you. Okay, we're just walking down the market, but we're I think somebody invited us to a cafe down this dark alley. Very cool tea shop, like a hangout spot at the back of the market down an alley. He has the whole tea station here. There's tables around. They're sitting around, around the, talking to each other. Such a cool so place. Having tea. Having tea. There's a couple tables outside as I'm well. I'm gonna show you how then, to drink the tea as well. Oh, awesome. Tea. Okay, we're gonna have tea, and then Uncle also um, invited to make us a quick omelet just to taste. So he's gonna make us an omelet. Awesome. Christian tea. <laughs> We have a quick Fresh tea. tea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Iranian omelet. He added in tomato paste and then put that in with some oil, sauteed that down, and then he must have cracked in half a dozen eggs into there, and now he's just kind of stirring it up. So it's more like scrambled egg. <laughs> Wow, this is like a breakfast even, right? It is breakfast. But it could be any time of the day. Yeah, you can have it any time of the day. Awesome. This is Siomezgi cheese. Belak mezgi. Belak mezgi. Belak mezgi, yeah. Cow cheese or a sheep cheese? or? In, um, she has. Mostly cows. Mostly cows. cows. Okay. Mm. okay. Look at the airiness of that cheese. Mm. <laughs> it's like a juicy cheese. Yeah. It's a juicy cheese. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's really good. Mm. So we take take bread, bread a teaspoon. Okay. Or have dip. it like this. Oh, dip is good. Dip is good. Yeah. So ready? All right. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's just like. Comfort food. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Comfort food. I like, it's just not oily at all. You taste the tartness of the tomato paste and just the, the scrambled egg. Yeah. All wrapped up. It's good. <laughs> oh, wow. Awesome. Mix them. Mix. So this is the beans and then mix it together. <laughs> so many different yeah. bite styles. Oh, to the whole pan. Yes, I'm the green beans, you're going to be the Yes, I'm the green beans. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. A little olive oil on there. Oh, my God. Okay, another variation, another bite combination with beans. Ready? Okay. Yes, ready. <laughs> mm. The olive oil. I love the olive oil. That's mm. what comes through. It's strong, isn't it? Yeah. The I olive oil is olive. <laughs> vibrant, vibrant. Mm. All good combinations. <laughs> now it's time to wash it all down with tea. Keep it like this. And then... It's good. You should try it. So pour the tea into the... 
Oh. <laughs> first try was I spilled half the. You failed. Half the first try and I failed. Yes. I take one. So this is sugar. Yeah. Sugar cube. Sugar cube. Yes. Dip the sugar into the yeah. tea. Eat the whole cube. Yeah. And then. Listen. Wow. <laughs> oh, slurp it, dude. Okay, slurp it. And say. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. <laughs> that's a totally different like tea drinking experience because you, you like, you get that sugar crunch. Like, if you're to eat a, a sweet along with tea, yeah, it's that same sort exactly. of thing yeah. and crunching on the sugar. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'm gonna try one more time. Yeah. <laughs> He just completely just invited us in just without notice without anything he wanted to serve us that food we didn't even ask but just out of the graciousness of his heart, he invited us, he served us. And that like just speaks for so many people for the hospitality and the incredible people of Iran and of Rasht. Okay, now back to the market. White turnip and black turnip, which I hadn't known before, uh, is one of the most essential crops of this region in the diet and often eaten for digestion like we had at the meal. And then I love how they also eat the whole stalks and the leaves of the turnip as well. Mm -hmm. As you walk through the bazaar also, you'll notice tons and tons of pickles. So we're just gonna try one of these pickles here. Hiroshu. Hiroshu. means cucumber and shu means salty. Ah. Yeah. It definitely is a salty cucumber. <laughs> you like it? I love pickles, yeah. Just unbelievable the vibrancy, all of the, the lushness of the land coming together in a single place. Oh, hello, sheep fat too. Wow, that's a pile of fat. <laughs> so mainly this is uh, white fish, and then they also have some duck fish, which are from the Caspian Sea. Um, the white fish, I'm not sure exactly if it's a, I'm not totally sure what type of fish it is, but they call it a white fish from the Caspian. Just blow torching a skewer of fat. <laughs> just blow torching a skewer. These are sheep contestants, and they're just dripping with juices. Oh wow! <laughs> it's like unbelievably spongy and juicy. Take this one. Look at that. Bubbly, You just shake it, and and like driplets of fat come out. Yeah, go for it. Make your mouth. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, it's a little blubbery, but so flavorful. A blowtorch, fresh sheep intestines at the market. To follow those juicy uh, sheep intestines with a healthy pomegranate, and I've never had this before. And you just bite the, yeah, yeah, just bite the skin, bite and then the. Yeah. Mm, you got it. Yeah. Oh wow. More, more, more That's amazing. <laughs> just you can feel it's just like there's just juice inside of it. It's just like squishy like an orange almost. I've never had a pomegranate like that. And so when I bit it, like it just erupted with pure pomegranate juice. More and more juice just I mean, keeps I on coming out of it. <laughs> Thank you. Right. There is some corn. 
Okay. I don't know what this is, a fruit I've never tried before, but it's like really squishy. It feels like jam inside of a skin. Mm. It is like jam inside of a skin. Wow. It tastes kind of like plum, but like really soft, really like like jam. That's it. really good. Azgil. 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 Zaban Rashti Kunus. 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 Okay. Mamnun. In English, it's possibly ezil, but I'm not. We're not totally sure yet. Now we just like emerged to the main road, and we met another man who's gonna <laughs> find us a watermelon. It's, it's like medicine. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. 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 So sweet and juicy. <laughs> That's some seriously good watermelon. Like it's not that red of a color, it's kind of like a whitish red, but it's so incredibly juicy and fresh and sweet. <laughs> Medicinal watermelon. Mm. This is a for, for summer, uh, not for winter. Right? Oh yeah. It would be really good if it was hot outside. Mm. Hot and dry. Instead it's cold and raining. But it still tastes good. Conveniently right across the street from the market. We immediately just walked across the street. You can smell the smoky aroma of the meat grilling. Next up, kebabs. This is the chenja kebab. The meat cabinet filled with all the different skewers, the different kebabs, the fats, the livers. There's sour kebabs, which is something I haven't tried before, which I think is sour from the pomegranate paste. There's chicken, there's beef, and then the grill, you like choose your skewers, and then the grill is right. Oh, he's sliding some fresh ones off. Oh, they're so juicy and sizzling. <laughs> Oh, it smells so good. And so you choose your skewers, they go right onto the charcoal, onto the fire, he fans the flame, and the move that I have never seen before that is the highlight move of this kebab stall is that he... It's ready. Oh, these are ready, typically. Then when he's in the process of cooking it, he then dips it into, there's a whole pan of just like lumpy pieces of melted fat and tomatoes. He rehydrates them in the melted fat and then back onto the grill. And that's why they just sizzle, they just flame. It just smells of meaty deliciousness. Unbelievable. Oh, sour. Sour 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 yes. Okay. So this is for you. Thank you. Sour beef? Yeah. So this one is a sour kebab. Yeah. Mm. Oh wow. Oh. Mm. The pomegranate paste, right? The, hey, or the, that's hey, what hey, makes hi. it sour. The tender juiciness of it. The smoky fieriness of that. And the fatty, juicy. Wow. That's great. And cheers. <laughs> My favorite. Okay. This is for you. Thank you. Cow breast. Yeah. Oh, mm. oh wow. The best of the best, isn't it? It's so spongy. It is so unbelievably spongy and smoky. That's just like juicy umami. Chicken wings? The one bite chicken wing? Yeah. I don't know if it will work or not, but. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> not that clean this time, but that's a. Mm. Mm. Oh wow, it's so juicy, so juicy and oily. This is liver. Heart and kidney. Go for it. So now we've got all of the different organs. We've got liver, kidney, and heart. It's heart. Oh yeah, that's heart. Oh yeah, because it's not quite as like creamy as liver usually. That's great. 
such a red meaty taste of it. This one? <laughs> this is the liver? Liver is good, but heart is better. Yeah. They're all just wonderfully fresh and delicious, though. <laughs> Okay, the mushroom kebab. Mm. Oh wow, it's so juicy. Oh, I love mushroom. The chicken mince kebab with bread. Mm. Wow, oh, it's so flavorful. Oh, he's reheating the fat pan. <laughs> Taste that hot. Oh, wow. With tomato. Go jam it. Oh, wow. Oh. Wow, that's the most insane kebab move I've ever seen in my life. He takes, he grills the kebab. Then I, di I didn't realize why he was heating up the fat pan, but he melts it down. He puts the plops the kebab right into the fat pan, stir fries that around, just let it lets it absorb the sheep fat, then puts it into bread. It's just you can squeeze it like a sponge. <laughs> yeah, <look at> <laughs> this is just, just, just dripping all over the place. Oh my god! <laughs> it's so juicy. This has to be a cheers. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mm. <laughs> it's so good. It's oh, so juicy. Wow. I immediately can feel like fat on my lip. Wow. Oh, that's insane. Merci. Merci. Oh, man. That is the most unbelievable melted sheep bite maybe I've ever had. That could be the coolest kebab move I've ever seen in my life too. It's my wow. second time having it here. It's so good. That is maybe one of the world's greatest kebab moves. I, I think so, yeah. <laughs> That's why all the rest of people coming here to have the kebab. Everybody comes, everyone comes for the fat pan. And I think that's my final bite. That was just insane. I've never seen the kebab fat pan move like that before. Yeah, it's just... My camera is totally wet now after being outside and just raining the entire time. Uh, but that was a just world-class, next-level kebab experience. An experience I've never had unlike anything I've ever had before. And now we're just taking a walk around to the main square here. tonight just to aid in the digestion just to wash down all of those meat juices and oils and so that is gonna wrap up this day in rash just want to say a massive thank you to Hamid to mr. taster and I'll have his link in the description box go check him out go follow him and also to Ali Jan and the entire team uh, without them it wouldn't have been possible to even be here to even make this trip happen so thank you so much and also to Gasser Setere uh, for arranging, for setting everything up. And I want to say a big thank you to you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you haven't already watched this entire series, um, I'll have a link in the description box. You can check out the whole playlist of this amazing... Iran is so unbelievably amazing with the people and the food. And so you can watch all the videos and be sure to watch all the videos. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from Rasht, and I will see you on the next video.